Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Who am I kidding? What's going on everybody? It's your boy, it's your boy. First thing first, if you guys know me, you know I'm blunt. Keep it 100 on this channel at all times. I would never bullshit y'all ever. Today's video, I get a lot of questions about officers. Everybody asks me. And, you know, I kind of go by a quote. It's not a quote. I want to say the kind of quote. I have a saying whenever somebody asks me whether or not they should be enlisted or officer. Now, hear me out, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, not everybody will be able to become an officer because it's very competitive. Stupid competitive, right? However, and I'm talking to the people watching this video right now. I'm talking to you guys right now. If you guys are qualified to become an officer in the Marine Corps, that means you qualify physically, uh, academically, is that a word? Academically, academically, academically. Yeah, yeah, academics and all that shit's up, the, up top notch. Clearly I'm not a fucking officer, right? And you choose to enlist in the Marine Corps, you are a moron. I'm sorry. Now I get it, everybody, Everybody probably wants to try something that they're outside of their comfort zone. I get it. A lot of people are not into school. I get that. Let me guys, let me tell you a story right now. I told my live stream this story earlier. I went to high school with a man. He's a man now. He's a police officer now. Good cat. Great cat. Uh, super smart, right? One of the smartest students in the state of Georgia. Got a full, a full ride scholarship to Harvard University. To Harvard University. He chose to enlist in the Marine Corps and only did four years in the Marine Corps. This is a true story. I can't say his name because I don't want to disrespect him like that. I don't want to put his business out there. But if you guys understand where I'm coming from, my standpoint, enlisting in the Marine Corps is outstanding. If you guys want to enlist, then potentially go, uh, you know, um, do the MESEP program or the ECP program, depending on if you already have your degree or you're already working in, uh, working on your degree before you join. Great, outstanding. But like I tell everybody, that's going to limit your pie. That's going to limit you. All right, you you won't be able to to make the rank of colonel. You won't be able to become a a, a flag officer. Uh, in the future, if you ever choose to stay in the Marine Corps that long. All right, you'll be considered a Mustang. That's what we call Mustangs, okay? Hear me out though. It's, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a better world for officers, however, it's the better choice. Why? Because you're given more responsibility at a very young age. Second lieutenants hit the fleet where they're 22, 23 years old. They're younger than me. <laughs> they're younger than me, but they have they have the responsibilities, all right? They earned the rank of, the, they earned their commission, all right? They're getting paid a fuck ton more money. They have more, I want I would say perks. They have more perks, come on now, come on now. They have more perks. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's different. The officer world is, 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 is totally different from the enlisted world. At the same day, we put on the exact same uniform. The exact same way. However, you're, you're talking about a, a standpoint of leaders who are in charge of other Marines success. Not that enlisted or not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that better opportunities come as an officer. A hundred percent better opportunities come as an officer. Better opportunities. Money wise, uh, Marine Corps wise, as far as, you know, going places, doing things. If you ever come to my channel, you ever listen to my videos or listen to my live streams. I will always tell people to at least attempt to go become an officer before enlisting in the Marine Corps. I will always tell them that. Absolutely. I get questions all the times about people wanting to be pilots. They're not even men, they're women. Women wanting to become pilots. You know how huge that is in the Marine Corps? 
You guys know, that is huge. Women want to become pilots in the Marine Corps is huge. And I look back on it like, damn. Like, I, I potentially could have mentored a female to go become a pilot in a couple years down, down the road, it actually happens. And now there's pilots, a female pilots in the Marine Corps who chose that route all because they came to me for advice. Damn. That's outstanding. I tell people this all the time. If you're, if you're in high school, if you're in school still, you don't need to be asking me about, about the Marine Corps unless you're a senior, junior, all right, on your way to graduating. Now I get people in here all ages. If you were in high school, if you're 13 years old, 14, 15, 16, you don't need to be asking me about the Marine Corps. You need to be focusing on school. Uh, I get a lot of a lot of young guys coming to chat, ask me stuff. Hey, I'm 14 years old. Can you tell me something about the Marine Corps? I, I won't. Other than if you watch my other videos, number one thing I always tell them is focus on school. You know, I go live, we got people, we got kids in school in my chat. Why? Focus on school. You can come back and watch my chat some other time. I'm real big on that. It's just, man, it's just, uh, I sit down in front of the camera and I talk about some of this stuff, right? It's just, you got to plan your future. I'm not saying that enlisted people don't go on to do huge things because they do. Hell, the, what is it, the 14th, 15th, 14th, 15th Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, Sergeant Major Estrada, he went on to become a goddamn ambassador. An ambassador. How fucking huge is that? That's that's crazy, man. And, and now I look back on it like, damn, like, you know, I got thousands of kids I'm sorry for calling you guys kids. That's just how I look at you guys. I have thousands of young adults on the channel who watch this video. So I get thousands of views from young adults all over the world. And their decision to join the Marine Corps, I won't necessarily say lies in my hands, but they come from me guided. So I got to be able to tell you guys the utmost truth bluntly. If you guys are qualified to become an officer in the Marine Corps, go try it. Try it out. If you guys are in high school, but you want to join the Marine Corps, you just you still can't decide whether or not you want to join the Marine Corps or go to college. The Marine Corps ain't going nowhere. The Marine Corps is not going nowhere. The Marine Corps was here four years ago when the kids graduating to high school went off to college. Now they're commissioned. And the Marine Corps will be here for another four years and many years to come. Go to college, get your education. Go try to be something better. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry for talking y'all got them head off. Y'all know who I am. I sit down here and I'm, sp I'm spiritual with it. Mm. But that's the video, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully I didn't, hopefully didn't, you know, take too long. Um, but yeah, that's just some of my advice, man. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. I'm backed up right now. I'm not going to lie. I have a lot of DMs I got to get to. I'll get to him. I'll get to him. Trust me, I'll get to him. Ask me some questions down there. Hell, ask some questions in the chat. There's a lot of people who like to answer, uh, excuse me, answer questions in the chat. If you guys have a question, comment. Comment that question down below and I guarantee you, you know, it may be some vets on here. You know, it may be some other people who, who can answer your question far quicker than I can. But ladies and gentlemen, until next time, until then, until next time, God damn, what is going on? It's your boy, and I'm off this bitch. Peace.